Since we've already made a few videos talking about one and one Ionos, or just Ionos as a hosting provider, why not appease the web gods and dive into what the Ionos website builder has to offer? Is it a modern user-friendly tool with affordable pricing or something you should skip entirely and run to another option? All these questions and more answered in my Ionos website builder review. Hey, if you're here looking for a promo or coupon code, you'll find it below or on the screen right now. Let me save you some time with a quick reminder. Never buy hosting or website builders without a promo code or discount link. Providers always try to get the most out of you. So save your money and maybe treat yourself to some extra tea instead. Anyway, for everybody else, we'll start this INOS review by looking at the very first part of building your website, choosing a good looking template. INOS doesn't go wild with its templates though. There are only a handful of them. The designs here are clean and tailored for business or portfolio needs. That said, creatives aren't left out. There are full, colorful, modern looking templates as well. I also appreciate that you can preview how templates will look on a phone or tablet before making your choice. You've probably noticed the giant text at the top that keeps screaming AI, AI, AI. So let's look at what the Inos AI website builder offers. It works with prompts, so we can enter a description and then select a tone. After this, just a quick setup for colors, fonts, and your website's info. Then we get, quite a good looking selection of designs. Now, not every generated template is a winner, so you might wanna play around with the prompts and setup. Overall, I have to say that I'm kind of pleasantly surprised about the style of templates and the modern approach with AI integration. So it's a plus to Ionos. Surprisingly, the builder fixes one of my main problems with Ionos, the weirdly confusing and inconsistent control panel. Sure, you get used to it and the design is clean, but it always feels uncomfortable. The builder's dashboard, however, is super simple and modern while keeping a clean approach. You have the main menu on the left with all you need, app market, web editor, e-commerce, and email marketing. I have to give a small bonus point for the easily accessible analytics. However, the app market <clears throat> could use more apps. Right now, it mainly offers translators and booking add-ons. So, while it's not the best website builder for small businesses, it's still a solid choice for landing pages, portfolios, or local business sites. Next, let's dive into website editing before exploring the other tools available. All right, if we go to dashboard and click edit website, we can get to the editor. And it's one interesting approach, dare I say quite unique. Most attention grabbing is this preview, which shows a smaller version of your site while scrolling. Quite a neat idea. Now. The content tab allows you to mess with website structure, adding pre-made sections or rearranging them, but there are no drag and drop controls or individual element placement. That's how the editor greets you, with a rather unusual design approach. If you navigate to section settings, then to elements and activate this mode, you'll be able to move elements freely, similar to Wix or hosting it. As for the individual elements you can add, the selection isn't extensive, but it's decent. In an interesting design choice, switching modes doesn't change the entire editor. It only affects the specific section you're working on. This means you can mix drag and drop sections with more straightforward pre-made options. On one hand, you need to activate the drag and drop mode for each section individually if you wanna use it across your entire site. On the other hand, this approach might be beginner friendly, letting you experiment creatively in select areas while keeping the overall workflow efficient. Okay. So what about those sections and elements? The Inos website builder has a decent selection, but there's nothing to write home about. You can add maps, forms, products, and even your own HTML code. The sections are a bit more bare. In my opinion, there's enough, but the designs sort of feel boring and not that modern, which is a bit weird since the pre-made templates had quite the style and vibe to them. You can further customize the designs with more interesting options for image styles and section cutoff shapes. You can use AI with any text element by simply double clicking on it. This brings out the standard word editor options and our AI helper. You can also improve text based on tone, but you can't really give any other parameters here. Continuing with the theme, you can create an image with AI if you go to replace any image. Currently, you can only enter a prompt. There are no reference images or style options and the quality is more cartoonish than real, so I don't know how much I would recommend using it. 
A better thing is the Ino stock pictures that offer, well, realistic looking royalty free images. So you don't need to worry about licenses or other stuff. Overall, while with some interesting decisions, the iNOS website builder editor feels and controls like a modern beginner friendly tool. Everything else here is quite self-explanatory. The style tab allows you to customize colors, fonts, or other small options. Pages lets you customize the structure of your site or add new pages. And of course, the shop is for product management. So jumping back to the main dashboard, what else does the iNOS website builder offer? Not that much. I've mentioned apps and analytics before. In the marketing tab, you can use email marketing or competitor tracking. Marketing is an extra and the price is a bit on the higher side. So check your business needs and compare them to alternatives. The last question should be, is the iNOS website builder worth your money? I would say, yeah, compared to some other builders, it's fairly priced, not as cheap as Hostinger, but definitely cheaper than Wix. If you use the discount link below or scan the QR code on the screen, you should get quite a deal. If you want to test out this builder, you can get one month of a free website builder trial. Better yet, you can grab a 12 month plan for just $1 a month, adding up to only $12 for a whole year of building. So with this discount, I'd say iNOS edges out Hostinger, at least when it comes to short term hosting. What I mean is that if you decide to stay with iNOS after that initial first purchase period, the $1 a month will jump to about $18 a month. So, you know, keep aware of that. There's a 30 day money back guarantee even for these $12 a year plans. And I like that there are many different ways to pay for your builder. All right, let's answer that question. Is iNOS good as a website builder or should you go elsewhere? To be fair, it's a surprisingly good and modern tool with a free trial and even a $1 a month plan. While it does have a few odd design choices and could benefit from more design options or variations, it's still a solid choice. It may not be the best website builder out there, but it's definitely a tool I'd recommend for beginners. So give iNOS a shot and don't forget those discount links to save some sweet, sweet cash. Thanks for watching my iNOS website builder review. If you have more questions or want to share your experience with the iNOS website builder, feel free to leave a comment. We'll try to get to as many of them as possible. You can find more of our web builder team videos by subscribing to the channel. Anyway, I'll see you all next time.